Mike Walk is live at the courthouse with today's developments. Mike? Yeah, Carrie, brutal and bizarre. Two words that probably best describe this day two of Jody Arias's retrial. Bizarre with a second juror dismissed after that juror ignored the judge's warnings and made contact with a TV reporter and brutal with prosecutor Juan Martinez unleashing a barrage of grisly photographs showing victim Travis Alexander's autopsy. Shocking. Even though we've seen the photos before, it's still seeing them again is so shocking. Jen Wood of the trialdiaries.com talking about the truly shocking series of photos presented by prosecutor Juan Martinez today with medical examiner Dr. Kevin Horn on the stand. Photos taken during Horn's autopsy on Travis Alexander showing every inch of Alexander's slashed, shot, and brutalized body, including Alexander's nearly severed neck. It really brings it all together to the jury about what a brutal crime this really was. But the brutal then giving way to the bizarre as Judge Sherry Stevens then dismissing a second juror today, a female juror who this morning approached well-known court reporter Beth Karras on their way through court security this morning and asked Karras if she was Nancy Grace. I was just getting my bags and she turned to me and she said, are you Nancy Grace? You know, maybe I shouldn't answer, but I've heard that before. And I said, no, but I used to work with her. And she said, well, you look familiar. And that was it. Karis promptly reporting the incident to Judge Sherry Stevens, and it was enough to get the juror promptly sent home. But lots of questions why that juror was selected in the first place after admitting that a relative of hers knew Jody Arias. They're going to run out of alternates if this happens every day. And how do you feel about being confused with Nancy Grace? No comment on whether it's a compliment or an insult. Nancy's a friend of mine. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. The remaining jurors have been sent home for the day. They're back at it at 9.30 tomorrow morning, and we will be as well. We're going to have more on this day in court coming up at 6 o'clock. But for now, at Superior Court, I'm Mike Watkins for 3TV.